This is the construct. The construct represents your mind. With your mind as a blank slate, as a white room, you're quite capable of uploading anything that is needed for you to create the new. For those that are interested in how deep the rabbit hole goes, Follow me. As today's topic is how orgone energy can be used to transfer it into something that is foregone energy or foregonite, merely known as photonically activated orgone energy. We will discuss the origins, where it came from and the application of how to make that the most powerful substance for you, for the Knights of Orgon. So if you're willing to find out how deep the rabbit hole goes, follow me into a new endeavor showing you exactly what I mean. Greetings to the Knights of Orgon, the investigators into the Orgon energy. I've looked at the phenomenon worldwide. I uh, observed what is being created and I love the Orgon community. Since I am the one who goes to where rabbit holes are and I'm trying to go and find out the deeper aspect of where that is and where does it lead me? Where does it might go? The fantastic thing is that I realized is reality is perceived differently. I can say, for example, rose. Now, how many of you thought of a red rose? It's not because I'm a psychic, because it's, that is the psychic collective. That's what we imagine. So when we work together in the ether, we find out things that make a lot of sense. And there was a German, no, an Austrian inventor named Wilhelm Reich, who died in prison for his inventions. You heard of the fir famous, affirmers, interesting, affirming the famous, <laughs> see where star seeds are dyslexic, so pardon our intergalactic French. Mon Dieu! <laughs> um, let's go to why you're here and wanting to know. I'm also introducing a new invention. We're going from orgon energy to forgone energy. From orgon to forgonite. A process of two and a half years of paperwork and proof of concept, we finally, hallelujah, have trademarked the word forgonite. And forgonite means photonically activated orgone energy. Now, before I show you my invention and uh, availability and all that stuff, for all those who experiment with orgone energy, let's um, unhinge the mythological belief of what orgone energy is and the misconception of that and what was introduced when to a degree that you understand how to apply that. So simple materials that you need are steel wool, stainless steel wool. It can look like this. You know those uh, Brillo pads, it can look like this. You need steel wool and you need sheep's wool or cotton. You need organic and inorganic material. I'll explain to you why that is. To finish the process of the accumulation, a galvanized steel plate. That is where the 
output comes from. <clears throat> now let us break down how this operates, why this works. And hopefully you can follow me. So Wilhelm Reich also watched the biography and really studied the art because I'm giving you now the basic principle of orgon and orgon accumulation, which uh, Wilhelm Reich studied as in the libido or the cosmic energy of the life force, which you have a blue aura, you know, the famous picture of the astronaut on the moon and his blue light shining out of his suit. They said it was a uh, flay on the camera. Um, the guy who developed the lens said that the lens cannot ref reflect or reflect or refract blue light in that manner. Do your own investigation. All I say is you don't have to believe a word. Follow your gut and your intuition. We have tested this several times. We have scientific backing. Now I'm sharing this from me to you. So basic principle, orgone energy, orbitally re rearranged monoatomic elements moving into a certain direction. Some call it fringe science, but you know, why is it that um, his uh, stuff in the 50s was confiscated, burned? Luckily, his patents were secured till I think 2007, just like Tesla's, and then they later on were released because they knew, you know, by the time it's over and, you know, people die out and the same powers that would be are no longer interested in really what the guy has developed which uh, was the cure of cancer, tumors, depression, many things. But I give you the principle if you want to build that, also do your own investigations. I'm giving you the construct of how you load that into your conscious to understand what that is. So what you do, this is how um, Mr. Wilhelm Reich actually did that. You take seven layers of organic and inorganic material. Learn my graffiti. <laughs> so, we have to build the uh, accumulation plate, real simple. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven, he can count. Amazing. <laughs> so, what do we do here? We do sheep's wool, okay? And I'm dyslexic and my typos, just, it's about the information, not the correctness of letters. So, sheep's wool, steel wool, understand? And then we do Sheep, steel, sheep, steel, sheep. Okay? Seven layers. And the top plate is a galvanized steel plate on top of that box. Okay? I use nine because I get information from nine dimensional layers and the council of nine. So I go. Steel, sheep, steel, sheep. In that order. You don't want the steel to touch the, the galvanized plate. The steel's not supposed to touch steel. So ma make very clear, sheep's wool, steel wool, sheep's wool, steel wool, to the following till you have nine. Nine layers. So I'll explain to you what Mr. Wilhelm Reich has actually found out with what we call the orgone energy, which is the life force that helps you to rectify the body. I will expand on that going even further into what we have developed here now. The basic development of orgon energy was that. Go into the old papers, download the old plants. That's, that's first of all, that is orgon energy. And um, it's open source. Nobody has the right on it, on it, but you can have rights on a technique that you have, how you do it but we should all share and all be able to use that. So bring it to the world and share it with the considerable exchange. So you build that orgone accumulation box with seven layers inside that box. Yeah. And um, have the plate on top, have your seven layers. So, and I have to big that up for you to really see what I mean 
by that, you know, don't get confused here. So, and I'm also dipping a little bit into Nikola Tesla and in the end Kozryev. It's going to get interesting. You know, you wanna, you wanna they get trippy, you wanna go psychoactive through uh, devices that can bring that to us. Well, continue to listen. Now, steel has the capacity to attract photons. Not only photons, also scalar waves, what we call scalar waves, gravitational waves, and a lot of other unknown factors that we don't know yet, which we have to take into consideration when we build such a device. Now, he realized if you have plates, and I can show you also how this is done in the Egyptian chamber, you have the photonic energy which can be measured, captured, but it doesn't stay in the plate. The plate gives it back to the cosmos. Yeah, but not only that, it gives it back forward and gives it back to the plate. Or put it this way, it, 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 it's, yeah, it's, it's a constant refracting and reflection. I should make, put this actually in reverse, so this makes sense. For the accumulation process, you want this, this, this capturing of photons, which is the life force, to be this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And you want it to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. So meaning, amplification, amplification, amplification. Meaning it, com it comes through, it comes through, it comes through, it comes through. And you see, it, it amplifies, 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 amplifies. It's an accumulation. So the more plates you have on top of one another, the higher the modality of this orgone energy, the life force energy hitting you. So the Egyptians knew this when they built the pyramid chambers. A lot of, and we have to say this with humor, take everything with a grain of salt, the pyramidians, they look at the king's chamber. Side note, the resonant factor of the king's chamber is 432 hertz. Do your own investigations. Um, above the king's chamber is these stone plates, you know, all the way up and then a little pyramidion inside the pyramid. This is an accumulation device. This is kind of almost like an organ generator that projects energy downward, 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 and you get bombarded with what? Photons. But here comes the, here comes the, the and I'll give you also the expansion. Not only photons, you also get bombarded with negative ions, if you can read. Photons and negative ions have a very interesting phenomenon which science has now documented. But you know, there's an ancient saying, you don't need nature. No, put it this way. Nature doesn't need science to prove that it is. So, when you go to the Niagara Falls, a lot of photons and negative ions, and people report what healing, they realize the intracellular communication of, your, of the, how the body communicates within, organs, cells and everything. What's the fastest way to communicate? Neurons. Electrical impulses interpreted by your brain. But what's even faster? Photons. Correct. Light is the highest information that the body and the fastest for it to process. So. When you're in that chamber, you know, you want to sleep there one night, you might lose your mind because you're not trained to, really, to receive that much light. So, this is the ascension. We want our way back. So, I decided to develop something that is called Forgonite, a conscious way to activate the organ meaning photonically activated organ energy. So what, do I, what did I do? And I'm not reinventing the wheel here. 
I just look at science that had applications that worked. I'm just the guy who's like, okay, these wheels fit on that chassis. That chassis of that car fits in that hull. So maybe I'm mixing Ford, Lamborghini, Lamborghini and uh, General Motors and you have a really freaky car but very durable and very effective and very powerful. So the, 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 the idea is to amplify, expand, widen and give you more power. So I decided for observation inspired by a scientist in Bavaria named Heinz. He's in retirement right now. What if you have your organ accumulator? I'll come to the resin in a second, how that works. What if, and here's what Wilhelm Reich said, if you place that next to a cell tower, problems, because you're gonna get all the energy in this accumulation device unfiltered. If you place it next to a nuclear power plant, well, the nuclear radiation gets attracted and amplified. Well, this amplifies the energy in the field. So first off, I'm thinking, how do you filter out the energy in the field electromagnetically um, without using any electric devices? I, I don't want to use electricity, okay? This is free energy. So one thing I decided uh, to come up with is you put Shungit blocks. I'm giving you partially secrets here. Shungit under the plates like this is the top this is the bottom and this is precise this is not a joke or a made up you can build this at home try it for yourself forganite of course you have to get through me because i'm the only one in the world that came up with this idea so this is not even this is not even about the forganite so you have Shungit eating up the electromagnetic misalignment, repurposing that and transforming that into harmonious energy. The Russians have tested that. They put a Shungit block, put it on a regular tube TV, and the electromagnetic resonance that came out, I mean the distortion, was decreased by 87%. Well, that tells you something. In physical form, you want Shungit on your router. If it's just Shungit. Comes from Russia, takes forever to ship. So. Shungit blocks here, filter that out. Then I see in people with resin, they use crystals. And I'm like, okay, crystals can also align that frequency and make that even better, which is what Wilhelm Reich didn't do. So I'm combining not only Wilhelm Reich, I'm also combining now Tesla. Tesla was working with photons. There are uh, patents on inventions of how he built contraptions of how to capture photons, give them a direction, create a system which is called a photonic shooter and with that you shoot photons into the air. But if you don't have an application of where the photons should go or how to capture them, it's useless to use. So you need to be a little bit of an investigative scientist to know what the application will be for you. Now, Shungit. And then I decided to use EMF bags filled with the photonic substance that I have in my devices. EMF bags are EMF proof and they reflect from the inside out light. So I'm shooting photons through the plates up, 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 up. So you get bombarded with photons like in the pyramid chamber. I mean, the, the effects are astounding. I built a device that's called a fuel diviner and my car went from 19 miles per gallon to 27 miles per gallon. And um, yeah, I call them fuel diviners sometimes in my shop because most of the times they're gone and that's even better for older cars because they're not fuel injection controlled so we get the photons and the ions accumulation up so basically i'm agitating the atomic structure of the of the organ and that makes it foregone which I now, and it's protected. So anybody with some si silly stuff, and I'm doing that because I put that together, nobody else in that way. It, this, is, this is becoming forganite. And forganite is the word for photonically activated organ energy. So basically we, we put the photons under the organic activation 
to bring this up. This actually birthed the idea of Forganite, which I'll show you in a minute. So, and I realized you can put tomatoes on here, bananas, whatnot. That stuff lasts indefinite. I have a test run with a bottle filled with rice that I put in cooked rice in my device. And the bottle was put in, I think, in uh, June 15th. Well, half a year later, um, I still have that bottle. Let me get that for you. Give me one second. <laughs> Is, it doesn't even smell. That rice in here, I mean, it liquefied over time, but do you see any fungus? Anything, it doesn't, it almost, I, I, I put it this way, it almost doesn't rot. Like we did tests for like one year, cooked rice in water, doesn't rot. I put water in there because if you do that with meat, it mummifies. Check the video Rocky Origins where we're showing you that uh, camembert cheese after nine months mummifies, dehydrates, interesting pyramid technology to preserve. Uh, something with the molecule stops and the electrons, they will slow down. So not only does this have a healing effect, but it's also preserving you over time. And we took the camembert out, put it in water, let it sit so it can soak in the water. We ate it pristine like the first day. You can do that with eggs. The stronger you build your devices, the more powerful the effect is. Meaning if you have like 10 of those devices this size around your car, your car might not st start up. And that's where UFO technology comes in. Highly ionized fields. Side note, Trevor Walton, Travis Walton um, um, abduction case. Nobody checks besides the abduction that in these mountains, the, the photonic levels, the magnetic anomalies and the negative ions and the biological aspect have been altered by like roughly 37%. You have to read the, the uh, I think the revised uh, version of that book. That everything is basically touched by wherever that ship came down, everything grew exponentially. And you can do that, build a box like this at home and put a, a mung bean sprouts on that and, and watch them grow this, this size. And then take regular mung bean sprouts outside and watch them grow this size. There is a difference in life force which can be accumulated and you can do it at home. So, then I realized when I built this, I'm working right now on an invention where I have this set up in a chamber. So the first, the first level for that is, it's called the ascension bed. So basically I'm surrounding you with orgone energy that's photonically activated and you are laying in there and I'm building that right now. And once, that's a human. So what I'm doing basically is the, the frequency, the resonant frequency of just you and bathed in photonic energy. Bang, 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 like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. What we will test and I believe is the following with that energy. What we're doing actually is we want to reset the human body back to its original origin. So meaning... A lot of people have that uh, concept of God and what is you. Um, a little bit confused, but if you, if you read the Vedas and the ancient texts and you really understand that the original version of you, if you can see this here, is the purest version of you, which is that what you call God. Yeah? And then you can go further back and you have a source. I'm not giving you the in-betweens because it's confusing. There's a lot, of, a lot of distortion in between here, which is called life, past life, incarnations and whatnot, a lot of crap. Uh, everybody seems to be wanting to know or be the Messiah. Also, don't de develop a Messiah complex. You all have messianic genes. That means genes to have the power to be enlightened, embodied on earth. That's given to you. That's why it's called... Um, Salomon, which means Salamun, the rising of the minerals in you. It's alchemical, which I uh, will break down in a decoder video after this. Now, humans on earth, in their distortion, okay, attachments, I don't know, spirits, thought forms, foreign suggestions, uh, mythical belief structures, foreign things, there's a lot of stuff that, that come to us kindergarten. We can't run from that. We get tainted. So my idea is, if signal 
to noise ratio. I got that from TV and electronics, which I have a degree in, but I put that into metaphysics now. So what if we can create a system that will establish communication between your angelic self, your pure self, and with, with you, and make that nice? Like reminding the cells of their origin, meaning you know that when a system or a computer malfunctions, you want divine factory settings. You want to go back to where you originally were, and that's where wellness is. Wellness is nothing but setting yourself, resetting yourselves to this is the point of origin, this is where I come from, this is how I work, and in that pure body, I am not sick, I am well, I fully have the capacity to be healed, to be well. And once that level, that's the base level for magic, it, you, you are free of corruption. Uh, you know you create harmonious karma. You're collecting divine dharma. You are on your way in the ascension world or way. This is your path. You must decide to go there. Nobody can make you. And it's about feeling that with your intuition. So when you listen to me, go back past my character and feel with your gut. Feel into it, listen into if there's a resonance. Because we are not here to convert. We are only here to find resonance. And this is how nature works. So, Forgonite. How the invention of Forgonite came about. So I looked at people that made these pyramids in resin. Because now, Orgon has changed. It's no longer like Wilhelm Reich did it. People started putting crystals in there. Wrapping coils around it. Adding crystal and dust. Mixing everything. So my observation, and I make Orgon devices, but mine are for, Forgonic and Forgonite based. So my idea, and I'll tell you this, people that want to challenge this, send your device to Mazaro Emoto's laboratory. It's $500 a picture, I think. And see if crystals form in the water. If you harmoniously can influence matter with your stuff. I can say this because I have the pictures for my phone chips. Uh, and we know that micrograms of the substance has an influence on physical matter, on the fibroblasts, as in the connective cell tissue of your body. We uh, have that also a, a document notarized that, that approves. That's uh, in my EMF chip video that shows you that you are being influenced by a ch phone chip that protects you from 5G to get your cell into a better cell defense. Hence, the metabolism of the connective cell tissue is enhanced by... 21%. Not only that, the parasympathetic nervous system is also activated. I know this because I study this. I don't have the, I don't have the time to get a degree because um, the, 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 the study doesn't, doesn't assist me studying what's actually the essence. And that's the new thing. We will go past degrees. The future will hold. What can you do? What's your talent? What's your skill? What's your application? Does it work? Show me. You have papers? Show me. Numbers speak for themselves. And... Um, yeah, more to explore. Now, check this out. So I looked at, and that's my opinion, I love Orgon, I love the Orgon world. So I looked at these, these things in resin, and I measured the energy. Also, you can measure these energies. There's a thing that's called Xperia, uh, energy life, or life energy meter. Um, they go between $200 and $300, where uh, Willem Reich developed a, a system that you can measure actually life force emanating from something. Um, so you can really check, is this really emanating life force? So I looked at these orgone pyramids and people mix everything together. So mixing everything together might not create harmonious energy. It can create very chaotic energy, you know? So nice negative ions in your house. And then also at a very minute level. So the output is very, very, very small, you know? You're not, you're not having a lot of aura here going on. So... I was like, okay, if we go uh, Wilhelm Reich's method, then let this be your, pyra your resin pyramid. And I will later on show examples and pictures. Work in layers. Go metal. You can use atomized stainless steel. Uh, then you can use a crystal, which is organics like sheep's wool. Then you use a stainless steel crystal stainless steel you can add brass if you want to go crystal 
always work in layers and guess what the more layers you have and this is a tip for all those organ makers to give more value to your product the more layers you have the more smack your device has the more you you really you feel it buzzing in your hand i maybe um, will sell samples uh, for people to test or give, give it out with orders in my store I have to think about that. You will see, just check out my store, see when it shows up, because it's in, de in development. So I made pyramids, where, which is a beast to make, because you gotta wait drying, you don't wanna dry it too fast, you don't want it to crack, because you know, if it cracks, you can't sell it. So it took me three days to make a pyramid with like 29 layers. Held that thing in my hand, I was like, oh my God, used my phone, checked the EMF, and my phone goes bing, 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 and you can do that, it's called Gauss EMF or EMF meter, you can really see this thing emanates. But if you just have crystals in there and it's, it's a mix and it looks nice and it's a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a teaspoon of brass on, on the floor and a quartz crystal, the energy is there, but it's very, very small and it's very, very faint. Well, we can make that stronger to the point where this influences dimensions, where you have enough in your room, um, the air gets plasmic, the air gets ionized. <clears throat> so I looked at Okay, if, if crystals in resin, and I'm gonna make this a cube now, so you understand what I mean. If crystals in resin, these are all crystals now, okay? All over the place. So I'm thinking, okay, if resin is in there and the resin shrinks and the shrinking of the resin puts pressure on the crystal, okay? We know this. It doesn't light lights, but it does, in, in microvolts, it, it works. You can measure it with a freaking phone app. It's a joke, but you just have to do your own investigation. So, if pressure on the crystal creates a piezoelectric effect, then I'm like, okay, if you have a lot, a lot of crystals and you create a piezoelectric effect, then you have an electric aura. And I say, that might not be enough. So, so I thought to myself in order to, and this is how I decipher my downloads. I study and then in dream space or when I wake up, where I ever wake up, um, I'm getting information downloads to what pattern fits together. So I'm looking at patterns that fit like pieces of a puzzle. So what made sense to me was this. And bear with me, this, this requires studies. Uh, Nassim Harriman oh, uh, is realizing that now. I've, I've been reading this for years now. They realize the smaller you make a crystal, the more powerful the light output becomes, the light source. Which is now being actually, an, as an application, they find out that nano pyramids have a higher light capacity in solar cells than regular solar cells. So I follow that trail and look at it, okay. So if we go smaller, you know, what science is out there that provides that the smallest? And what did I find? I found nanocrystals, nanomaterial, which will also be displayed in this video. And they realized that if you have a nanocrystal, the surface coverage of it reflecting, refracting, and pushing out photons is much higher than when you have a big chunky crystal that you buy in a crystal shop. You know, it's it has some power, it's all, it's all nice, but you know, it's different output levels. So if we can get the potency of, let's say one kilogram of quartz crystals, into a pebble of a size that's uh, 0.8 millimeters with the same photonic output. We can actually put a lot of power in a lot of small things. So, this is all science that already, that's, that's without me was already investigated. I'm here to combine. So I'm looking at, if I put crystals in resin, nano based i'll have a lot of light output but what does that mean and that's for those organizers for the organ people um 
they have no direction. In order to create a laser, concentrated energy is required. So if I want a directional energy and I want it amplified, I need to figure out how do I... If I want this thing to have an aura in all directions, so, so that's the arrangement, I would think, okay, I want to filter out the electromagnetic interference that this can cause when it's just raw. So I'm adding Shungit. You know? I'm adding Tourmalin. Tourmalini. And then I'm thinking, wait a minute, in the Orgon device, we need a galvanized steel plate or a stainless steel plate to give that Orgon energy a direction and output to go towards you. So I'm like, if I'm adding, see, if I have a crystal here and I have a iron oxide crumb here, it, this is going to suck in the photons and shoot them back out. Now, if I have an array of crystals and, and stainless steel powdered, that's going to go zigzag, zigzag. It's going to go explode in the many directions. It's going to go intense, like it's, it's going to intensify the orgone energy. So I mixed it and I added iron oxide. But I didn't stop there and I was like, okay, iron oxide amplifies it, but I want more kick. What's the next one? And in dream state, you know, I go into my mind. I, it's called contemplation in dream space. And I'm in my lab, in my spaceship, if you will, talking to my crew. And it's suggested to add magnetite. So now what am I doing? I am structuring the magnetic field, the magnetic alignment. I have a refraction and reflection and refraction capacity of the isotopes coming from the nanoparticles, which is a whole other study in itself. And I mix that compound together here, which I'll show you. Now my hands go and get dirty. This is what it looks like. See, this substance. And I measured it with my phone, my God. And um, my phone goes boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, I have EMF, I have magnets and I have photons and negative ions. I'm like, I, I have something like a holy place. And you know, this is uh, the thing that I call bioresonance, which is what I have in my key. And I, I love what I'm doing, I'm passionate about it. So you mix that substance and the outcome is forgonite. And this substance is by far the most powerful orgon mix that I could find. And mind you, you don't need kilograms to blast your product. A tablespoon in the base of your pyramid can change the entire energetic aspect of your product. You don't have to be wasteful. That's why it will be moved by the gram in grams and you can mix that you can put it in layers or not it works by itself you can make a, a thing just uh, out of that substance by itself it'll work if i had an example here i'd show you. i have something so for output levels see what we have see i made this forganite buddha this all it is is forganite in form simple any uh, thing is possible these little bags it's gonna be the substance and I probably get EMF bags so you have this thing and you can put this under your pillow it's gonna be resonating creating an, an, an uh, uh, you know for headaches um, not only that I can turn this into a concrete concrete additive and mix it with concrete and guess what bonding angles change more durable, um, if it gets wet, it doesn't get brittle, and you have a superstructure. Now that in, in, in building homes, that's a whole other aspect where we will have to produce lots and lots of more of that stuff. It's a rare substance because the lab can only produce so much, and it takes a month to two months to even get some stuff so I can produce more. So be gentle, be patient. In time, more and more will be established so we can produce more. But this is basically the introduction of a completely new substance 
for the Orgon world and that is called Forgenite. And Forgenite is basically photonically and organically activated substance. Basically photonically activated and atomically agitated Orgon energy. And you can test that, make your own plate and test that with your own organ development and put a lemon on it and let it sit and, and watch until it rots and compare. You know, you can um, put one lemon on a table and another one in another room, you know, isolate the, these from another and uh, uh, observe uh, which one rots faster. You know, strawberries in four days, they're done. You put it on, 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 on a organ plate if it's a good one. Um, you have to really measure your stuff and be into the science of it. Now I gave you the basic science and my invention and the introduction of such. And for your exploration, have fun with it, go deeper. Uh, be on the lookout, soon to be released, Forganite substance. And yeah, become a Forganite. <laughs> I will make stickers, flags, maybe little, little knights. The Knights of Forgone. <laughs> And uh, this is to have fun, explore, expand, you know, and put it in your structures. That gives your objects also more value because you can then say not only organically activated, you can say photonically activated. And uh, maybe I develop a holographic seal that comes with that. Did you know I'm the one that made that? And I'm, look at it, my dirty fingers. And um, yeah. It was a pleasure to share that with you. So there's new stuff coming, new things are being developed. Um, this is the uh, Jedi key, which I always wear to stay in bio resonance. It makes the difference. You want to train your mind, train your IQs, be well and be in gear to have an understanding of what's going on or inner standing. And when you have an a resonance with what you hear that's called cognitive resonance and that's actually the field that we're cruising in so more to come more videos more science i hope this has some value for you this was interesting and i wanted to share that with you so this is the birth of forgenite and let's see where the matrix will take us from there and i'll see you on the flip side bon voyage okay.